Hello friends, this is lesson number 64 in the series of British Literature and today we shall discuss Thomas Lodge and uh, he was born in the year 1558 and died 1625. He was basically an English physician. So by profession he was a doctor and he also remained involved in voyage, sea voyage. He made voyage to Canary Island, Terceria with Captain Clark and then to Brazil and the Straits of Magellan with Thomas Cavendish. So just try to remember these two names, Captain Clark and Thomas Cavendish. And then about uh, his profession that he was not successful in those voyage that uh, because basically what we see that in these voyage people go to these places to bring gold and other material but these people Thomas Lodge Thomas Cavendish and Captain Clark they were not that successful in those sea voyage now as I told you that he was a doctor, he got this degree from Oxford University and then he also practiced classical Italian and French works. So he made studies of these works and then it is also considered that he inspired William Shakespeare to write some plays and writings. So simple that his works inspired William Shakespeare. Now one interesting fact we shall consider now that earlier we discussed one name that is Philip Sidney and he wrote a work that is Defense of Poesy or I should say Apology of Poesy. Poesy means poetry and with the same name we have one work written by Thomas Lodge. Actually, there is one more work that is also famously known as Defense of Poetry. And this work is also written by Percy Bushy Shelley, P.B. Shelley. So now we have almost three works with the similar name. First by Philip Sidney, that is Apology for Poetry or Poesy. And then Defense of Poetry, that is uh, by P.B. Shelley. And Thomas Lodge, he wrote a pamphlet. And the full title of this pamphlet is Defense of Poetry, Music and Stage Plays. And this pamphlet is written in response to a work written by Stephen Gosson. If you remember, when we were discussing criticism, that time, I told you about Philip Sidney that he had somewhat literary war against Stephen Gosson. So in that war, Stephen Gosson was saying that poetry is something bad. And on the other hand, Philip Sidney, he was advocating that poetry is not bad at all. Same way we have Thomas Lodge. He is also defensing the poetry. And he is condemning whatever the charge is laid by Stephen Gonson. He is defensing those charges. So, in nutshell, we can say that Philip Sidney and Stephen Gonson, and one more name that is Thomas Lodge. So, one side we have Philip Sidney and Thomas Lodge. On the other side, we have Stephen Gonson. So, they had. Uh, sort of a literary war against each other. Now about this work, Defense of Poetry, Music and Stage Plays, this work was banned and it was published or circulated I should say privately. And then we have Stephen Gosson. He wrote first the pamphlet School of Abuse. Remember, Stephen Gosson wrote school of abuse and then he wrote another pamphlet that is 
place confuted in five actions so two famous work by stephen gosson next there is a work alarm against user alarm against user and that was published in the year 1584 and there is another title for this work that is attract for the times attract for the times now as the title alarm against user user what is the meaning of this word the people who give money or i should say who lend money to the others so they are money lenders and this work is also in response to the work that is plays confuted in five actions who wrote this work that is stephen gosson so in that literary war we see there is a work again i repeat school of abuse is written by stephen gosson then defense of poetry music and stage plays written by thomas lodge then we have plays confuted in five actions written by stephen gosson and again in response to this we have alarm against user that is written by thomas lodge in this work he tells us about his personal experience thomas lodge and the theme of this work is that the money lender the people who lend money to the others they are spoiling the young people young students because they give money to them and these people these young people they spend this money extravagantly and they lead a sort of a luxurious life that is how they spoil their own life and later these money lender force these young students to return the money and end of the day we see there is a dispute between these money lenders and the borrowers the young students so that is why thomas lodge is just warning the young students not to indulge in that luxurious life by borrowing the money and so he is simply warning these young students next work by him that is rosalind and it is a prose romance and this work rosalind becomes a source for a work as you like it written by william shakespeare even in the beginning i told you that uh, this writer thomas lodge his works became the source or inspire william shakespeare to write so this work rosalind becomes the source for as you like it another work by him that is cilia's metamorphosis cilia's metamorphosis and this work is also called as glaucus and cilia so it is the story or the love affair of uh, glaucus and cilia and uh, there is, we have unfortunate love of glaucus and this work becomes the source for a work that is venus and adonis another famous work by william shakespeare so we have two names from the william shakespeare's work first as you like it and then we have the name venus and adonis so it is a verse fable so fable means a story and it is in verse form in a rhythm it is and the idea taken for this work is from metamorphosis written by ovid in the latin literature we have a famous name that is ovid and he has written this work metamorphosis and uh, this work is inspired from cilia's metamorphosis this work i'm talking about the work written by thomas lodge it is inspired from the work written by ovid one more work we have metamorphosis written by that is franz kafka okay we shall discuss about this work as well when we discuss the world literature so 
a Roman poet that is Ovid and he has written this work Metamorphosis. Next work is Sailor's Calendar and it is a lost work so it was never found in original form and uh, it might be about his sea adventures. In the beginning I told you he made several voyages to the sea. Another work Euphys Golden Legacy Euphys Golden Legacy and this work also inspired Shakespeare to write comedies. So we have several references to the Shakespeare's work. Now another work History of Robert Duke II of Normandy History of Robert Duke II of Normandy and this is a historic romance and this is also given the name as Robert the Devil Robert the Devil another famous work by him that is a looking glass for London and England a looking glass for London and England and this work is written in collaboration with Robert Greene now try to recall who is Robert Greene we studied university wits and among them one famous name that is Robert Greene from the University of Cambridge Marlowe Nash and Green three names from University of Cambridge so in collaboration with this writer we have this work it is an Elizabethan play and it recounts the biblical story of Jonah it is also an example of morality plays medieval morality play so what is morality play if you remember earlier I discussed in one of the lessons that uh, morality plays are related to the biblical stories religious stories from there we have some moral lessons so this is a such kind of play a next work by him that is wounds of a civil war wounds of civil war and this is the dramatization of ancient Roman conflict between Marius and Sulla Marius and Sulla so these two characters are related from the Roman history when you read about Julius Caesar there you have one name that is Sulla so that's all we have about Thomas Lodge we just talked about the important incident where he had a literary war against C Stephen Gosson and uh, the works written by him that is defense of poetry music and stage plays and then alarm against usurer and then other works like Rosalind, Celia's Metamorphosis, Sailor Calendar, Euphy's Golden Legacy, History of Robert Duke II of Normandy, A Looking Glass for London and England and Wounds of Civil War. Important fact that his works inspire William Shakespeare to write several works and uh, his war with Stephen Gosson. So that's it for this lesson. Thanks a lot for watching this lesson. Have a great day.